Time travel, the storytelling technique that has captivated audiences since its invention. From mythical prophetic visions of the future to 2004's Primer's characters who are repairing time loops to prevent future paradoxes. There's a wide array of time travel types that exist. But in games, time travel has only appeared in three forms. The first option is time travel, but they're actually separate levels. You may be able to affect a future level by doing something in the past, like planting a tree and watching it grow in the future, or by finding a rusted door in the future and opening it in the past. This option allows the player to have levels that update based on their actions, but only a few specific actions ever really affect time travel. The next option is a time loop, where the player is stuck in a repeating world. Their actions aren't permanent, but they have plenty of options while within their individual time loops. They may be able to bring back something from their timeline to a new timeline, but each timeline is different. The last option is to make a recording that replays alongside the player. Sometimes these are slightly interactive, such as ending the replay early, if the player does something which prevents the replay from continuing. This option lets you have multiple characters within the same timeline, but never accounts for any sort of paradox if there are mistakes. I've been developing a prototype which takes the best of these options. I want a consistent story with interactivity of time travel elements. I want not just story critical actions have consequences, but all actions. I want the player to work with time travel as a tool, not just a plot device. My game idea is to have a puzzle action game where the player interacts with multiple future versions of themselves. Each version is controllable and the version of the grandfather paradox exists at all moments. If a past version dies, or if you stop them from returning to the future, you'll lose because the future versions of yourself could not have come back in time. I've developed a system which I call independent time travel. On the bottom of the screen you can see a timeline for each character. When I move my current character you can see the other characters fade away and my timeline moves forward. This is because each input moves my character forward through time, while the other characters don't have input yet. I can switch to another character and the system rewinds all my actions. When I move forward the second character, their timeline progresses and all the actions of my first character are repeated. I can move forward and backward to the present for each character. This allows the player to continue a replay where they stopped, fix issues in the past that you notice with your current character, and all events are susceptible to paradoxes. In this example, I have a bridge, the player walked up to the bridge, but it's not down, they can control another character in the past to hit a lever along the way, and when I switch back, the bridge is already down, the first character can continue across. If the player does something in the past that prevents a future action, a paradox is created. This pulls the affected future character back in time up until the current character's present time, because the future character's timeline could not have existed. This can be used as a punishment for the incorrect answer to a puzzle, or as a tool for the player to prevent their future character from getting into a bad scenario by stopping them in their tracks. Alternatively, a character can alter the future in ways that don't cause a paradox. An example of this would be to transfer a key into the inventory of another character who may not have noticed. In the future character's timeline, they attempted to open a lock and failed. Now that the key has been transferred, it opens, but doesn't cause a paradox because opening the lock does not prevent any actions that the future character has already done. This is the foundation for my game, and I'm working to do this in a scalable way, both from a performance perspective as well as implementation. I'm designing this with the Unreal Marketplace in mind, so that way it can be extended in other people's projects. My project currently has an effect like Super Hot, where time moves when I move, but that isn't necessary, it's just easier to see what's happening. The next goals are to handle new kinds of scenarios, like object spawning, AI behavior, and some trippy elements like portals that move the character forward and backwards through time. If you liked what you saw or have suggestions on time travel elements you'd like to see, leave a comment below and maybe even like and subscribe. On to the next one, I'm a goddamn superhero.